Hey guys, welcome back. So in the end of the last tutorial, we had just finished creating our first enemy. And I actually noticed something that I wanted to share with you guys um, that's going to lead into our next tutorial today. And that is, we're going to open up our enemy right here. And just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to change the amount that it's going to hurt us from 5 to 25. I'm going to compile and save this. We're going to play our game here. Now, if you remember the first thing we created, we used the F key to hurt our player. And as you see, I keep hitting F, we end up getting to zero health, and we quit the game. Now, I'm going to start this back up, and this time, I'm going to use our enemies to take our health down to zero. And as you see, we're at zero health, and we are still playing the game. So what is going on there? Well, if we open up our enemy, we'll look and see this uh, bit of code that's actually taking away the health right here. And you see after it, there's nothing. We don't check to see what the player health is. We don't do anything after that. And if you'll go back to the player character, you'll see that when we hit the F key, after we fix the health, you know, we subtracted 10, we had this little bit of code here that actually checks to see if our health is equal to zero and if it was we quit the game. Now that was a really important piece that we put in there that made our health variable actually act like player health. But that's not here in our enemy. What we could do is we could take all of that code from the third person character, copy and paste it and stick it on the end of this. And it will work perfectly fine. The problem with that is we're going to be repeating the same amount of code every time we make a new enemy, every time we make anything that's going to damage the player, we're going to have to add that uh, bit of code to the end of whatever we just did. And I don't know if you guys, any of you have seen The Matrix, but repeating the same code over and over and over again, it really didn't work out well, did it? So, what are we going to do about that? What we can do here is create what's called a function. Now I'm going to create this function in the third person character because it relates to the third person character's health. So I'm going to go into our player character and I'm going to hit this little plus sign here for function. And you see it's going to open up what looks like a new event graph. But this is really just the function editor. And we're going to call this is player alive. And what we can do inside of a function is basically create a little bit of code that we want to be able to use over and over and over again without having to recreate all of those nodes again. So what we're going to do inside of here is we're going to get our player health and we are going to compare this so we'll say equal and again we'll look for this equals float does it equal zero and then we're going to pull off of this boolean and have a branch and we'll hook this up to here. And if it is equal to zero, we want to quit the game. So off of the true, we will say quit game. And we will get our player controller. And we'll be able to quit. And obviously if it's not zero, we're not going to do anything. So we're going to compile and save this. So how does this help us out? Well, if we go back into our event graph here in the third person character, now that we have a function that does all of this stuff, we can delete this. And what we're going to do is after we press the F key, we're going to call our function. So we're going to say call, and you see here it comes up in function, is player alive. And that's the nice thing about functions. There are little bits of code that you can actually give a name to. And now the compiler will actually know to go into this function here, is player alive. So after we push the F key and we set the health, it's going to execute these nodes. So what we can do with that now is we can go into our enemy and we can call that function from the enemy. Now if you remember that function's in the third person character, so just like health, we have to get it from within the third person character here. So we're going to say call is 
player alive. And now we are able to call that function from our enemy. And what this allows us to do is, as we make more and more enemies and your game expands and you have more actors and objects and things, you don't have to keep rewriting this code. You can just call this function very nice and simple here. So now we'll compile and we will save and we'll test this out. So now I'm going to hit the F key first to make sure everything was working fine. And you see we quit the game. We got to zero and we're now out of the game. Now is this going to work for our enemy? So let's see. And there you go. We got down to zero and it also quit the game. And that is the beauty of functions. Alright guys, that's it for this part of the tutorial series. Um, if that was helpful for you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for more tutorials. Alright guys, see you guys later.